Hi, it's Andy from the Salt Fishing Cyclists, and again I'm back out with Brambo. But today we're ferreting for rabbits on a horse riding school. But before we start, let's introduce the whippet to the horses. Great, the dog seems fine with the horses, so now we can move on to the first warren. It's middle of March 2013, and we've had the worst snow blizzards for over a week here. Thankfully, it has warmed up slightly, and the snow is beginning to fall. But it's still very windy, which is making the temperature feel below minus. These are not the greatest conditions if you're standing around Ferryton. Today we're only using two polecat jewels who are a pleasure to handle. It's been the first full season hunting for rabbits and they've worked ever so well for me. It appears only one likes to work the shallow depths of the warren, but the smallest of the two doesn't mind going as deep as possible. Well it looks like Jip's shown an interest in this hole. Can you hear rabbits? There we go, the first bolt of the day, but this rabbit has made its escape. The snow is making it much harder to find every hole, even though it's done a tremendous job killing down the fern and bramble. Well Brambo has found the bolt hole and he's using a double pegged or poke net to put over it. Brambo has been trialling the larger than the normal size whippet over the season. He's slowly entering to lumping. So it's going to be interesting to see how he coats with the colder weather ferreting. He's pretty steady already around the nets and ferrets. The second rabbit has just tried bolting from the same hole but this time the net has pursed perfectly around the bunny and we have our first rabbit for the pot. The horse paddocks around this riding school hold the biggest population of rabbits I've seen local to us. There are more rabbits appearing from open warrens, so we're going to try these next. This time, we're going to let young Jip off the lead so he can have a couple of runs. We'll get that one in a minute. After popping in the ferret, we keep above the warren and wait for the action. We can hear the rabbit being chased on the ground, and it's not long before we get a rabbit bolt in with Jip not far behind. But as the rabbit jinks away to its left, Jip overshoots and struggles to get back on terms. This rabbit has also made it safe there. The ferret is also followed, which indicates there are no more rabbits at home, so we're going to move further onwards to another open warren to give Jip a second try. We get another rabbit bolt in, and Jip does a little better this time, but even though he looks to be putting the rabbit under more pressure, this one also gets away. We're not doing so well at all, so we better start using them nets again, if they haven't frozen that is. Well Brumbo's got the pleasure of laying the nets, which isn't a nice deal when it's the coldest today. Just holding the camera is unpleasant, and my fingers are also feeling frostbitten. I'm not surprised Jip is hogging the grassy patches where the snow has melted. Well here's our second rabbit, which is bolted into a perfectly laid net. Brilliant stuff. Good job Brambo. Well I think it's going to be a good idea to carry on using the nets as we move on to some hedgerow warrens. We're going to stay either side of the hedgerow and just try our best. Here's Brambo laying nets this side already. We've laid around 20 nets along this hedge and we haven't covered all the holes. Yep. There's yet again another bolt, but this time the rabbit's managed to shake off the net and has took off across the field. Now I'm really kicking myself for not bringing along my lurcher. But I think Brambo's going to come this side and try running the rabbit with Jip. Be careful Bran, there's an hole there. I told you them holes were hard to see. Well Jip's been slipped and he's after his rabbit. He's managed to get close, but the rabbit is keeping the fence between him and Jip. It doesn't look like he's going to get this one either. As I'm filming Jip, another rabbit is belted behind me, and so I'm making sure this one is coming home with us. If you've never been ferreting before, then you can see the nets don't actually harm the rabbits. I'm sure this rabbit doesn't know what's coming next.
The ferrets are doing a grand job to get these rabbits bolting. Here's another rabbit, but this one's sticking well under the hedge, and Jip's not catching this one. If we were using stop nets between the hedge, or out with an experienced dog, then this one might be caught as well. Even I miss them, sometimes. I was struggling to push under the hawthorn hedge and just couldn't reach the rabbit. I know we missed a lot of rabbits today, but I don't mind as we caught some and had some good sport. Well, all we can think about is some hot rabbit stew when we got home. But as we decide to finish the day, my netting up made up for it once more, as the final rabbit bolts, pursing itself perfectly. Just three rabbits off this hedgerow, but a great end to the day.